In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Tenant Cloud, a cloud-based property management system that simplifies the process of managing rental properties. Tenant Cloud is designed to help landlords, property managers, and tenants streamline tasks like rent collection, tenant communication, maintenance tracking, and much more. So by the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to set up your account, add properties, manage tenants, and use key features of Tenant Cloud to make your property management experience easier and more efficient. So let's get started. First, what is Tenant Cloud? Tenant Cloud is a comprehensive property management system that allows property managers and landlords to manage their rental properties, tenants, and finances all in one place. It's an all-in-one solution that includes features like online rent collection, tenant screening, property listing, maintenance requests, and financial reporting. Tenant Cloud offers a free plan for small landlords, making it an ideal choice for those managing a few properties, as well as affordable premium plans for larger portfolios. So now let's head over the dashboard. So after logging into your account, you'll be greeted by your dashboard. So what's in, in this dashboard is all of your uh, performance statistics, metrics, and overview of your business. So as you can see right here, you will see your accounting, your income, your expenses, your overdue. You will see applications, tasks, lease funnel. You can set up your ACH payment. You will see your properties in units, expiring leases, and maintenance. So now right here in the left-hand side, we can also select portfolio. So we can see our properties right here. So let's click on properties. So from here, you will see all of your properties. In my case, I still don't have any properties. So to add a property, simply click here on add property in the top right. So from here, you will be adding your property manually. So you will need to add in your property name, year built, MLS number, street address, city, state or region, zip code, and country. You can also select the property type. Either it's a single unit type or multi-unit type. Insurance information, beds, baths, size, square feet, market rent, deposit, basic amenities, property features, property amenities, and property attachments such as the property photos. So you can also add the property photo right here and the gallery. You can also select currency right here. And also you can uh, add property by simply clicking here on import. So from here, you can import files for your property, but your data must be in a specific format for the system in order to import it correctly. So to see this, just click on learn more. And they have the guide right here on how to uh, import your property. So the only allowed file extensions are CSV, XLS, or XLXX. So this is the uh, sample fields. So you need to uh, follow this format for your file to be approved. Uh, next is units. From here, again, you can see the units of your property. So let's say you're adding a building. You can add units right here. You'll see all the units right here. Next is keys and locks. Again, you will see it right here. You'll see, uh, you can create also keys and locks for uh, your specific property. Next is equipment. And again, you can add equipment right here. Select the category, equipment brand, price, model, serial number, RMT settings, and of course, upload or attach a receipt or a photo. So the inspections uh, feature is still in beta, so you can risk request inspection right here. Next is leasing. So select applications. So from here, you can create or add a new application or invite to apply. You can also screen tenants here. So simply select the property where you want to screen the tenant, click on the end, click on the next steps. Next is listings. Again, you can add your listings right here. It's just the same as uh, 
uh, first you want to create your property, add a property, and simply select uh, a property to add to your listing. So first is property information. Now you want to add the leasing details, such as the price and the application settings. Next is leads. Of course, right here, you can add your leads. So you can add them manually by clicking here on add lead or simply import your leads through CSV files. Next is premium leads. So you need to verify your identity to get access to premium leads and have your properties rented out fast. Now we want to go to contacts. From here, we can select tenants. So it's just the same as your uh, leads or contacts. Of course, you can simply add uh, tenants uh, manually or again, import them via Excel or CSV files. Next is accounting. So from here, you will see all of your payments, your transactions, your balances. If you have outstanding balances, you'll see your recurring balances and reconciliation. So this is a new feature of Tenant Cloud. Next is maintenance. So you can request maintenance for your properties right here. So just simply click on add request and choose either a basic request or advanced request and simply get started. And from here in the request board, you will see all of your requests in one page and also recurring. Next is calendar. So you'll see your calendar right here. You'll see all of your tasks in this calendar. You can add events. So let's say you have a meeting on Friday with a tenant. You can simply click here on Friday and click on add reminder. So as you can see, you can enter the title of the reminder or event, description, the date and time, assignee. So you can simply add yourself or your team member and the property that you're going to talk about. And click on create. Next is tasks. From here, you'll see all of your tasks. You can also schedule your task and it will automatically be added to your calendar. So click here on add task. This is the same again, set the date and time, signee and the property. Next are documents. So you can go to your file manager and see all of your documents in one page. You can also see templates. So you can see there are templates right here for the documents. So you can create new template and also see the landlord forms. So they have free templates right here and you can upgrade your plan to avail all these other templates. So these are the landlord forms. And now is next is reports. From here, you'll see all of these reports for rental, for financial, and also you need to upgrade to get access to this, such as the 1099 tax form, the lease statements, online payments, tax preparations. And next is download. So from here, if you downloaded files such as documents, you will see it right here in your downloads. So that is all of the features and basics of Tenant Cloud. So if you want to set up your account, if you just created your account, just click here on finish account setup. So just follow all of these instructions. As first, you want to add a property. You want to invite your tenants. You want to verify your identity and set up payments. So that's basically the basics of using Tenant Cloud. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.